Hello everyone, it is our uh, recapitulation video of chapter 6, History, New Questions and Ideas. So, Buddha born as a Siddhartha, founded the Buddhism. He belonged to a small jana known as Sakya jana. Which jana he belonged to Gautam Buddha? Sakya jana. And uh, by birth he was Kshatri, warrior. But when he was young, he left uh, his home in search of knowledge. He meditated uh, for days under a peepal tree at Bodh Gaya, which is Bodh Gaya in Bihar, where he attained enlightenment. Jaha unko gyan ka prakash mila. After that, he was known as Buddha. Buddha means the wise one, jiske paas buddhi hai. Okay. Uh, now then he went to Sarnath, Sarnath, which is near the Varanasi, Ilabad. And where he taught uh, for the first time, his lesson first time about, so he traveled on foot uh, one, uh, place to place and teaching people and he passed away at Kusinara. Okay, fine everyone. Now Buddha uh, taught the people about uh, the life is a full of suffering and un unhappiness. And according to Gautam Buddha, the reason behind it that the people having their desire, their wishes, okay? So if we remove all wishes, all desire for our, from our lives, so we feel, uh, we uh, live satisfied lives, okay? So, and Buddha described this as trust or tana, desire, want, okay? Now Buddha's, Gautam Buddha's, taught people in Prakrit language because uh, uh, the Prakrit language was the ordinary language of people so that uh, everybody could understand uh, their message, their lessons easily, their teaching easily. Okay? And he also taught people about the kind and respect the lives of others, including animals. It means to respect all living organisms. He believed that the result of our action, action means our karma, whether it is good or bad, it will affect our both in life and the next world, yani in after death. Now here, uh, here we talk about the Upanishad. Upanishad means the approaching and sitting near. So the here, Upanishad, many thinkers compile their idea in book that is Upanishad. Uh, here they uh, the thinker felt that there is a something permanent in the world, in the universe. So the individual, every person having their individual soul, that individual soul known as Atma. Jab Admi ki death ho jati hai, so that individual soul to meet that universal soul. That universal soul they, uh, known as Brahman. Universal soul. They believe that ultimately the uh, Atma and Brahman were one. So, your individual soul meet with universal soul. Okay. Uh, their idea recording in Upanishads, this was the part of the letter Vedic text. Joki Bhatki Vedic text ka part hai. Uh, after that, uh, come to the Jainism. Yes. So, the last and the 24th Srintakara of the Jainas was Vardaman Mahavira. So what is the meaning of Srinthakara? Srinthakara means the great preacher, great teacher in Jainism. According to Jainism, unko Srinthakara bola gaya. Great teacher, great teacher, jo, jo apne message achhe achhe dete hai. So both the Jainism and Buddhism, the famous and the most popular religion movement on 6th century, 6th century BC, okay? 6th century ki they two very famous religion. Kaun se the? Jainism and Buddhism. Okay, he also belonged to which uh, Chhatriya Pins and the Lachivis group which is a part of Vaji Sangha. Vaji, the Mahajanpada. After that, the Mahavira taught the many people. He said, the what is the truth of life? Okay, so they, what were the teaching of Mahavira? They must follow strict action, the rules of Ahinsa. The first teaching was the rules of Ahinsa means 
which means not hurting and killing living beings so the first teaching of mahavira kya hai the rule of ahimsa ahimsa means not hurting and killing living being all things life is dear to all things life is dear now the they also uh, convey their message in prakrit language so everyone could understand easily okay now other he lead the the janas those lead the simple life begging for food and he, they should honest they had to be absolute honest and especially asked not to steal so these are their teaching they had to observe celibacy men had to give everything including their clothes so the first teaching you can underline first teaching everyone you can underline the teaching uh of teaching of the maha vira theek hai so the first is this first point is this underline now the second one is lead simple life had to live uh sorry simple life so this is teaching number 2 till here then from had to obviously uh, absolutely honest and were specially asked to not to steal third then they had to observe celibacy and men had to give up everything including their clothes fourth so there are the four teaching in mahavira according to your syllabus fine everyone okay everyone now the next question the jainism was uh, supported mainly by traders but not by farmers why because farmer who had to kill the insects to protect their crops and according to the jainism they strictly follow the rule of ahimsa not hurting and killing anyone else any living organism plant animals so it they found uh, so the farmer found it difficult more difficult to follow the rules of jainism so that is why jainism supported mainly by only by traders not by farmers uh jainism spread a different part of the north india gujarat tamil nadu and karnataka uh, okay and after that uh, the it these were in, compiled in Uh, books and which is available at the Vallabhi in Gujarat. Now the Mahavira and Buddha felt that only those who left the homes could gain the true knowledge. So those people were left the home they to stay together in sangha. Sangha means sangha means or association, association of those people those left their homes. And Buddhist idea were. written down in which book it written down in vinay pitika pitaka sorry okay uh, and the, uh, in that uh, those 
the these people those left their homes they left they were stay uh, in caves to protect themselves from uh, harsh climate and heavy rainfall okay the those became the monk or nun they had to be live simple life they meditate for most of the time and went to city and village for to beg for food bhikshu ke liye and that the bhikshu hour fixed so bhikshu is a prakrit word renouncer means beggar you can see the monastery they left their monastery 